Hi, it's Tanya again, and it's time to uh, take these out of the mold. You can check and see if it's set up yet by taking your fingernail, pressing it into it, and you can see it just barely is there, and then it come, pops right back out. So I'm just going to pop these out. Pop, pop, pop. Nice looking. This is going to be a fun one. Now let's see what this tiger piece looked like. Well, it does look like a cat. So we'll have to see what that comes out looking like. And we have our, that one came out fun. This will be a cute one. And now I want to show you what the resin pieces came out looking like that we cast earlier. Remember we had the um, Mardi Gras mask mold we made out of a necklace. Here's the piece we cast a mold of. I did the back side. Here's the mask. And here's how it came out. I used... Um, the black dye for my resin and remember always mix your dye in to part A before you add part B uh, so you can mix it up real good before you um, start activating the resin so this is what it came out looking I did it black and then I am a sucker for rub and buff so I always use the rub and buff on the black I just love the look of it um, most of my things have the same look and feel. So, um, whoops. So here's one of the pieces from a bracelet that I cut apart. And I did a, a cast of it, a mold of it. And here's how the cast came out, the resin piece. This one, I didn't add as much black, so it came out more gray, and so I ended up just adding the silver on the tips, and I just love the look at it, of it. But just look how much, these are the exact same images, you know? So, but this is resin, and this is this plastic, and just the effects you can do to it yourself, sometimes you can make it look so much prettier than the original. So we have this tiger necklace. Here is the mold. And here's how it came out. I wasn't real hopeful for this one because it had all these rhinestones on it. But it came out kind of cute. You can still tell it's a little tiger. Which is great for me because I'm in Louisiana. And we're the LSU Tigers. And so this came out really cute. So this is something I could possibly use in another piece. And what else do I have here to show you? I have this um, cross necklace. Um, I've already um, given the original necklace away, but here is the mold. Here's the piece. Again, like I said, I use the rub and buff on everything. And then I have this little piece, little fella. I didn't show you this earlier, but I've been waiting to use this because it's from some Mardi Gras beads. And um, here's the cast piece, which, you know, I think this one came out so cool looking. And then I also had this little bitty miniature picture frame that the back broke off of, and so I cast that. So, just to show you how cool your pieces can come out. Now, here's this black piece I made from this mold. I made a mold of this. And I'm going to show you real quick how this rub and buff really just gives stuff life. I try to use Q-tips. Uh, because I always end up with rub and buff all over my hands. But I'm just going to rub it on here. And I just really like the way the silver looks when I color the um, resin black because um, then the black's already in the creases and I can just worry about highlighting it. So you can just see real easily how fun this ends up looking. So go out, look at things differently, find you some crazy jewelry that might not really work for anything, make you a cast of it, make you a nice pretty piece.
These don't even look like they're the same piece, but they are. So it's so much fun. Go out and have a blast. Thank you. This is Tanya with Great Studios.